Oh, YouTube, we are back with a honestly surprising video. We're back with something that I never thought we'd ever talk about again. I never thought there'd be an update to the story. I never thought there'd be a follow-up video. But we're here to talk about Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, and it's getting a physical release finally. This is something we talked about more than a year ago at this point, like July of last year. And there's a lot of rumors flying around last year about this game getting a physical release. Uh, based on like some websites like Base.com and Gamefly having like pre-orders for physical copies. There's also a rumor of the game getting like some voiceover or something, I guess, for like the cutscenes, maybe even just the general dialogue. I don't exactly remember. There's all kinds of rumors flying around last year before the game came out, but when it came to the game getting a physical release, I don't think there's much to the rumor other than those websites having like pre-orders for physical copies, which is probably why we all kind of forgot about it until now. But when it came to like previous remasters that we've seen with like seven and nine, those were only ever digital as well. So while we were hoping for a physical copy of 8, it kind of never happened. It did with some of the other ones like 10 and Tensu and 12 Zodiac Age. But when it comes to the older like PS1 remasters, they've never released a physical version. But here we are today on Twitter, they revealed that yeah, 8's getting a physical release on PS4. Problem is, however, the game is only going to be available, at least as of right now, in PAL region. So Europe, Middle East, Australia, and New Zealand. And I, I just, I don't know why. It does make sense for a few reasons. For one, why would you limit the release of this? Like, you make more money if you can, you know, drop the game everywhere where everybody can buy it. But also, like, you're not releasing it in Japan where, I don't know, you make the goddamn games. It just kind of sucks, man. Even though it's something I haven't really thought about for more than a year at this point. Like, seeing this game finally actually get in a physical release on an actual console, too. It's not, like, just the Switch or something. It's actually going to be on PS4. But then it's in limited regions and shit. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. The two reasons I can come up with is maybe they're testing the waters in these regions. If it sells well in these areas, maybe they'll drop it in Japan and also North America at some point. And also maybe it's a COVID thing. Since it's a physical release of the game, maybe they can't just make a shit ton of copies and release them around the world like they usually can. You might have also seen with this tweet that 7 and 8 are getting a twin pack release on the Switch, which is pretty cool because that gives 8 another physical release. But also this, to the best of my knowledge, would be the first physical release of the Final Fantasy VII Remaster. If you take a look at this combo pack, there's clearly something missing. Where is Final Fantasy IX? Like, don't get me wrong, 8's a popular game, 9's more popular. And all three of those games are on the Switch, so why would you release two? That's like dropping just like a 7 and 9 collection, or just a 9 and 8 collection. Like, why are you doing 7 and 8 alone and not comboing it with 9? It's just kind of weird. And in the same realm of conversation, why is the 8 remaster the only one getting a physical release for PS4? Why isn't 7 or 9 getting physical releases? And let's be honest here. If you drop a 7 physical release and a 8 physical release, which one's going to sell more? Which one's going to make you more money? Don't get me wrong, this is like 99% a good thing. It's cool that they're giving it a physical release. The box art is fucking awesome. It sucks it's not my region, but it's just like the choices here are weird with the twin pack... And only given the A remaster of physical release when, like, the 7 and 9 HD versions have been out for years at this point. I believe those came out, like, at least the 7 one came out on, like, PS3. Like, this shit's been out a long time. Why is this the only one getting a physical release? It's kind of strange. Regardless, this is pretty cool, man. This is something I never thought we'd do a follow-up to. If it drops here, if 7, 8, 9 all get physical releases on the PS4 in North America, 100% gonna buy it. I already own them digitally for, like, Xbox One. I will rebuy them again. They're some of my favorite games of all time. Wouldn't mind adding those to my physical collection, look pretty cool on the shelf, and I really don't even own a whole lot of physical games for the PS4 anyways, so it'd be kind of cool to get some more. Anyways, it's pretty much the video, my dudes. The A remaster is going to be like 20 euros, the twin pack is going to be like 40 euros, and however that equates to the region you're in, I don't know. If there ends up being an update at some point for this story, like more games getting physical releases on different platforms in different regions, we'll do a follow-up for sure. Anyways, that's the video, my dudes. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see with more Final Fantasy PS1, 1990s, sort of 2000s as well. Remaster updates. And content. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. I'm a Discord. The links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. I used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain or leave it. Like old bang.